Hey, it's Rosh from the Creative AI Show. In this video, we're gonna talk about text to image, specifically on Kling, but this can be applied to other image AI platforms. One of our favorite sayings is an old saying, garbage in, garbage out. Now on Kling, we have a prompt area, and the prompt, of course, is very key to getting the quality image that you're looking for. But you also have to consider what you're going to use that image for. So you need to look at the aspect ratios related to the type of image you're ultimately going to export. So is it going to be square for maybe Instagram? Or do you plan on creating a YouTube short or TikTok? These are things you may want to consider before you start putting in your prompts. Different platforms have different settings. Some are more in depth. For example, Midjourney has quite a few options that you can consider to refine your images. We're gonna start off with creating two and we'll begin with our first prompt, hippopotamus. And the reason I'm just saying hippopotamus is to show you that it's important to add more elements to the prompt, but we'll start off very simply. There you go two basic pictures of a hippopotamus, and they're very similar. Now let's update the prompt to baby hippopotamus. <laughs> oh, I think I like the one on the left a little bit better. Now let's add a very specific environment. Let's say baby hippopotamus on a playground. So as you can see, as we develop these prompts, they get much more detailed, and of course, more interesting. So it gives us a cartoon. That's interesting. So we may need to add something to our prompt, such as maybe photorealistic. And let's try it again. And it took us away from the playground. In a city might help. The one on the right is a little bit better. But again, sometimes you have to fight with the AI to get exactly what you want. This is why having more tools to help you develop the images can be really helpful, such as creativity levels and so forth. So now let's add with a bird on. And I would always use the actual item that you're talking about. The more room you give the AI to make things up, the more it will often take those opportunities. So rather than say it or he or she, be very specific. Well, that's not quite on its nose, but of course, as you can see, I didn't put the word nose in there. So it's on the hippopotamus. But you can see that it is ignoring some of our requests. So I'm gonna add hippopotamus a little bit more. Realistic baby hippopotamus on a playground so let's say hippopotamus, baby hippopotamus playing on a playground in a big city with a bird on the, hippo, on the hippopotamus. Let's do it again. So here we go. I like the left side better. Now I'm not saying this is how you have to prompt. I'm just showing you the progress. You don't necessarily want to do it this way because it's going to cost you more money in a site like Kling. But if you have a different service, of course, that is monthly and gives you a ton of opportunities to create images, then you can play a little bit more. But what I want to show you here is it's important to have a really good idea of what you're looking for ahead of time and fill the prompt with as much information as possible so you can start off as close as you possibly can. Let's do one more. It's a sunny day with swings behind the hippopotamus and the hippopotamus is happy. Let's see how we do here. Well, once again, we've got into a cartoonish look of the hippopotamus. If you're looking for more prompt ideas, you can always go to the front page and look for different prompts. Here's a very detailed prompt, for example. Once you start working with Kling, you'll start to know 
its preferences and the way it likes to handle certain prompts and images or concepts. Hey, I'll see you on the Creative AI Show where we're two creative guys talking AI.